hygiene, uh, etc. And what we've done now, we've taken over the warehouse next door, and that's the Hope Project. This is the Hope Project Arts. So basically, the arts is for there's so many people having depression in the Moria camp. There, you know, and there's a lot of artists in the camp. There's painters, there's singers, there's musicians, a lot of musicians, and they're just sitting there day to day doing absolutely nothing. And the, we've had suicides in the camp and attempted suicides. So we thought we need to do something for the adults. And so we decided on an arts project. So basically this is a space we've taken over. We're building the stage now. Uh, and we had the two girls painting from Health International. Wave girls. Wave girls. <laughs> <laughs> And we have Emmanuel right down the end, sorting out my problems for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> hi Emmanuel. Uh, you have Joseph here, uh, who's an artist, a very good artist, I must say, a big time. And we had McMood here somewhere, he's disappeared. He's busy. Oh, he's here behind me. So, this is McMood. Yeah, I have to go back to get all of this in. Uh, it's incredible. So, McMood's done a mural on, on this wall here, uh, and it's, we just left him to it. He, he's been on the internet looking at photographs and things like this. Um, so, and he's actually drawn Eleni saving a baby in the middle and me helping Eleni out, uh, which really happened in real life. Um, but that's something McMood wanted to do. He wanted to put it there. So, you know, this is his, his mural. So, and he's doing a fantastic job on it. So, so this will be the main stage. We can walk up the main stage here. We have figured out we get about 100 chairs, um, 80 to 100. We built this last week. This, we still got the back wall to go on. And I, I built it last week uh, with mainly refugees. I, I had a group of four last week and we built the whole stage and built the steps and everything, uh, which was fantastic and good for them as well to have something to do. Um, so the main stage will be here for dance, music, poetry, uh, yoga if necessary, uh, for everything. I mean, theatre. Theatre. I mean, it's so, there's so much you could do in this space. Yeah. So. It'll be so what we got on the back here now, which uh, Emmanuel is doing, he's putting the, the back wall up now, and we're going to put a mel melon mine back to it, so we can show videos and films on the on the backdrop. So that that will go right to the ceiling and right across and down. Um, so it's going to be an amazing uh, space when it's done. What we will do, I'm going to put along the walls here, we can go back down. Don't want to stand on their painting. Sorry? Don't want to stand No, I don't want to stand it. You build the painting that set of steps and then they get to this one. So basically about 60 centimetres out from the walls, uh, running all the way down, I'm going to put a, a workbench uh, with two shelves underneath. And it would go all the way down there and all the way down that side and along the back. So people, we can put trestles, small painting trestles and stuff on. So people can sit and they can do their thing. They can, they can write poems, write music, paint, or whatever, you know. Um, we can have different people coming in teaching. There's a lot of teachers within the camps that can teach. And the, the fabulous thing is, is, is the, you know, um, the people that we're mixing with and getting to know now have so many skills that they can teach others to do yeah. the same thing. 100%. And, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be incredible when it starts. Also, um, we've got a lot of people want to come in and teach master classes and things. And yes. I think it'll be fabulous to teach a master class to, to some of the refugees. And then the refugees take that information and teach to others. Yeah. It'll be incredible. I mean, uh, and we've had people saying about photography, um, filmmaking, which is where the screen will come in handy. If, if refugees can make their own film, be fantastic. It's yeah. just yeah. the 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 whole 
this whole space is so exciting at the moment because it has so much potential because it can be everything. Yeah. And what I want to do, I mean, we, I've discussed it with Mahmoud and uh, Joseph, the, small, the artists we have here at the moment. What we want to do is put uh, faces of the, the refugees that have helped us over the past and the volunteers uh, over the past. We're going to put just the faces all along the front, um, which I think will be something special for everyone. Um, yeah. So the big appeal is if you can help us, we really need money. We've paid for this so far um, with very few donations and we still have a long way to go. The electricity is not connected yet, all the water. Uh, we still need tables and chairs. We need instruments. Um, any way you can help uh, would be huge. But biggest of all, we need money. We do. I mean, the rent, we, we have to pay a month's rent in advance, and then we uh, were on our second, we took it over the middle of last month. Mm -hmm. We're uh, month two now. So this is month two. Um, but now it's coming, it's, it's coming now, you know, you can see it is, it is coming. Uh, and, you know, the, the materials that have gone in, the wood and everything else for the stage, it was, it's, it's expensive. When you yeah. build something like this, it's not cheap. Uh, and it is a big stage. Do you know what I thought was fabulous as well is that you were teaching the guys how to build at the same time as building. They were enjoying so it. So <laughs> it was really good fun the last couple of weeks. And just underneath the, the stage, we've got three doors. Um... Girls, you've painted the door shut. <laughs> just teasing. <laughs> so we've got storage under here for... Um, the instruments. the instruments and things like that and we're going to have a door going right the way through to the back as well so this door here then Emmanuel is making the door to go straight through the back there also um, so if you can help in any way we would hugely appreciate it and if you you know can be part of this project again we we need all the help we can get Plus, it'd be a, a, a fantastic space for uh, conferences, for things like that, anyone. Uh, not for a massive conference, because we can get about 80 to 100 people sitting down once we've got the chairs and stuff in. Um, but I think most conferences I've been to, the range hasn't been much more than 80 to 100 people there anyway. And on the stage, you can get another 20, 30 people quite comfortably up there, no problem mm -hmm. at all. Joseph, can I film what you're drawing? It's okay, or no? Because he's just sat down to do a sketch, and I think it's yeah. fabulous. That's brilliant. Is this going on the main mural? Maybe next, yes. yeah. Yeah, okay, it's going to be something special. Yeah. 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 We had many of these Turkish fishing yeah. boats. This is a Turkish fishing boat. We had many of those come through. Yeah. So I think we should close and say thank you, everyone, for those of you who have supported us. For, and this project for everyone who's doing fundraisers in one way or another um, thank you for everything this yeah. is brilliant We've, um, you know we still have a lot of ongoing things um, yeah we're interrupting their busyness so we still have the boats coming in the north um, we still have next door going and Philip I think we're going to do another video for this. Well I mean this is today this is the first day I've been down for a week and, and the place has been it's just gone quiet now and um, the place has been so busy well but um, really busy this morning because it's uh, the end of um, coming to the end of Ramadan, so lots of people coming in for buyers, hijabs, lots of people coming for toiletries, we have our amazing team, busy, Syed, busy, all hell taking a rest. Helena, Mohammed, Ali, and I think Liz is down there Liz somewhere. is always, always somewhere, somewhere in an aisle. There. Say hi, Liz. No. no. I don't know where she is. <laughs> She's there somewhere. But, um, Again, you know, the, the boxes oh, that have been... Here. Hello, Liz. We've just been talking about you, so oh. hi. We're just talking about your incredible and organising skills. And we have here as well. And another Mohammed. So, yeah. So, um, all the boxes that you're sending are incredible. Uh, today we picked up, what, 15 boxes from the post office? Yes. 
all weird like children's toys, sanitary towels, diapers, a towels. Lot of, uh, um, crochet stuff uh, for the women we're going to send it to the Bashira. Bashira said they'd love it, so they're, they're just so organizing to coming to get it. Four boxes of um, threads and yarns, and oh, it's amazing stuff there. A lot of uh, and, pictures and for them the to high, high Wickham people who've sent us at the Abayas um, from High Wickham helping others. Um, Some of these have gone down it's so It's incredible. Well. I mean, yeah. these are beautiful. Thank you very much, High Wickham. Um, That's High Wickham helping others. Yeah. And, and all these hijabs and abayas, they can't get these clothes here, so this is really, really fabulous. We are still really in the need for men's small clothes. Everything we get is huge. These poor guys are tiny. Um, also, uh, women's trousers in small, like leggings and things like that we need. Um, so many things, underwear and things. Actually, this week we had underwear, but now it's gone. So that's how fast the stuff runs out. At the moment, we're, the diapers are good, but it goes through pretty fast. But um, we, we had 13 boxes of abayas and hijabs just arrived from the UK, which we're very excited. We're just about to unpack... Dr. Sienna. Oh, from Dr. Sienna. Okay. Yeah. Dr. Sienna. No, stand by me. Let yeah. yeah. So Dr. Sienna sent all these wonderful 13 boxes of uh, hijabs, which we're just about to unpack. Um, we had some brilliant stuff from Bulgaria arrive yesterday, which also from had... A TV crew. Yeah, from a TV crew that's here. Also, um, lots of sandals. So we had no shoes when I came in this morning, so this is kind of exciting. Yeah. The, the van drove all the way from Bulgaria. It's a TV company in Bulgaria. And the, the van was full, absolutely full of shoes and clothes, and, which and, is fantastic. But, but this is our situation generally, is, is empty, empty. We have so many spaces, um, and the need is huge. We've, we've yeah, toys as well. The, oh, one of toys our volunteers run, have been sorting yeah, out toys this running morning. out of toys. That's all we got left. Yeah. That will do maybe two days, um, if that. Yeah. So. Um, blankets. Uh, the biggest thing we go through is toiletries, shampoo, um, toothbrushes, toothpaste, ladies. Uh, sanitary pads for ladies, um, cream, soap. Pampers. Uh, pampers. Um, tissues so many things that we need um yeah again a busy day so stuff is so when the families come in what do, i mean most of the volunteers here they live in moria camp the majority of them so when they go back in the evenings they take so many tickets each with them in the evenings and they hand them out to the new arrivals and anyone that's suffering badly i mean there are nearly ten thousand people on the island at the moment so we can't get to everyone, but we do the best we can. When the people come in with their tickets, the, uh, the volunteer refugees and our volunteers, they will register them with their case number. So when they uh, are registered inside Moria, they'll get a case number from the police there. So And the case number gets registered on the computer here. Um, so after they've got the initial clothes and everything else, we say to the families they can come back every two weeks for shampoo, soap, hygiene. Uh, if they come back in two weeks, we always look at them, and if they've got holes in their shoes, then we give them more shoes. Or if the clothes, if we've got shoes, if we've got them, shoes yeah. are so, treasure. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's down to everything, you know. But we really. Yeah. Um, well, keep. All I can say is, please keep sending those boxes. You may think it's only one box, but one box makes a massive difference, especially when, like, we pick up some days twenty boxes from people. Yeah. It makes a huge difference, and that's the only way we continue yeah. on. I mean, when you look on the top shelves here, this is all winter stuff. In April, for some reason, we're telling everyone, please don't send us winter stuff. And it was it was from warehouses, uh, people emptying their warehouses just because they closed because they got over the winter. And then next thing we know, we're landed up with these van loads of winter stuff, and that's all this uh, on A couple top. of months, we'll be using it again. Yeah, so. a couple of months, we'll be using it again. But it... it so basically, all we got in here now is what's below that mm. uh, for the summer, which is not much. Yeah, a little short on kids' clothes, but uh, mostly adult men is the, the need. And young girls, I think it's, it's 
Liz, you know more about this. What are we what short, are we short of, of, Liz? Clothes? We're not short of, uh, well, trousers. It's always trousers. Always trousers. Yeah. What about young teenager stuff? Um, again, you can always do with more trousers. More trousers. For teenage girls and yeah. older girls, but... And, but and the teenage boys, boys as well. And teenage boys as well. Yeah. But always do with trousers for small boys and small girls. Okay. We've literally got that's like it, and three that's pairs. all we've got. Three, three pairs. Three, three pairs, pairs left and on that side. One, two pairs. Two and pairs. we've seen what today? Thirty families. Yes. Yes. yes with a lot right. of kids. Yeah. So. yeah. That's right. So, so, small trousers for boys. Small trousers for girls. Like two years upwards. Two to five years. So basically, trousers for everyone except huge ones um, um, because. Yeah, not so not baby clothes. Well, baby clothes with it's trousers again. Baby, baby, baby trousers, trousers baby only. Trousers. Not the not so much the vests yeah, and so the. So in other words, trousers from naught to. When trousers it's for everyone. Yeah, everyone. Yes, trousers for Perfect. everyone. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Liz. Okay. Right. Okay. So, yeah, we just say thank you for all your support and um, making this possible. We've been running this now since well, we haven't. These guys have. Yeah. I've <laughs> been running this now since um, December. December. Yeah. Um, and it's still, although the need is not as desperate with the cold, the, the need is still huge. I mean, we've got nine and a half thousand people on the island. The boats are still arriving. In the last two days, we've had 250 people arrive. Mm. Um, thankfully, nothing today. So it was quiet arrivals. Yeah. But the need is massive. So yeah. please keep helping us. So. Yeah. And thank you, everyone that has been helping us. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing okay. because we do need a lot of help, you know, this... Uh, we don't get much publicity these days. In 2015, we had a massive amount of help, but it's all sort of petered out, and the media is not putting it out that we need help here. Um, you know, they're not putting nothing out. You know, a lot of people come; they think the boat stopped in 2016 when the yes. EU-Turkey de deal happened, but they never did. It never stopped. You know, we we've, we've been bringing in boats every week since then. Um, so we do still need a lot of help, and any support you can give is fantastic. Okay. okay, thanks guys. Thanks a lot. Bye. Cheers.